hi everyone i trust you're all doing great we've been able to put up a few videos on the findings of our founder professor Catherine achalono we will do the best that we can in that regard please also know that we are seeking for sponsors to help us provide further enlightenment on the role of black africans to the phenomenon of culture human development and world civilization let's get down to the topic of the day. Welcome to the Catherine Acholono Center for African Cultural Sciences. So, what is this topic all about? It borders on a phenomenon that is gradually catching on with humanity. People are becoming aware of the reality behind our universe. People are becoming aware of a phenomenon referred to as a unified field theory, what Albert Einstein in his time called the theory of relativity, what Michio Kaku has also discovered to be the hyperdonaut, and theoretical physicist late Stephen Hawking referred to as the torus. It has also been variously called the flower of life. So what is this unified field all about? What we know is that this unified field is a grid of energy, a field of energy surrounding all things within our universe and surrounding the universe itself. Modern scientists have been able to discern from what they have seen and they have been able to conclude that all things are connected, that there is an interconnectedness of all things, that there is no separateness in all that has been created. There is no division. Everything is connected to something else. Nothing exists in vacuum. Nothing exists by itself. Everybody is connected to the next person. Everything is connected to everything else. That is the law of relativity, or rather the theory of relativity. He also tells us that behind all phenomena, behind all life, behind all of existence, behind all creation, is one consciousness, a living, divine consciousness. Some call it that which is. Some mystics call it the one. Those involved in religion will call it God, and the Igbos call it Chuku. Now, beyond the interconnectedness of all things is the fact that Man is the only creation endowed with the power of speech and power of the mind from this energy grid. If a man can conceive an idea, conceive a thought that he would want to bring into physical reality, all he has to do is connect with the deep recesses of his mind to bring that into reality. There are mystics today who will tell you about the law of attraction, the law of manifestation is all connected to this grid of energy we are talking about. Now, Professor Shalon would always urge us to tell our own stories and carry out our own research. Because when you do not do your own research, when you do not carry out your own research, others will come and claim that whatever they discovered, they were the first to discover it. The same thing applies to this phenomenon of the um, torus or the flower of life or the grid of energy. So they told us that in the 20th century, modern physicists discovered this phenomenon. But did they also tell you that this phenomenon, this field of energy, was known to ancient Igbos as far back as millennia? As far back as millennia. In the 1950s, when Thurston Shaw dug up ancient artifacts at Ibuku, there was a bronze artifact that was among the artifacts that were dug up. These bronze artifacts, here it is, these artifacts had intricate designs on it. It had hexagons and equilateral triangles embedded on it, each point connecting to the next point into infinity. This is the same thing, the same phenomenon with regards to the interconnectedness of all things. It was known to ancient Igbos 
as far back as millennia. But nobody will tell you that. Nobody will tell you that. Now, ancient Igbos, in their understanding of reality, tapped into this hyperspace and would engage in all sorts of interdimensional forms of communication and traveling. The ancient Igbo man would wield such power as Ibiabo, that is splitting into two, Ifefe, that is flying, or Ojenamo, that is entering into the spiritual dimension. These were powers that, that the ancient Igbo man could wield, and I'm not sure that modern Igbo man could wield these powers today. Now, this unified field theory is covered in Professor Catherine Asholonu's books, The Day Before Adam, The Lost Testament of the Ancestors of Adam. And while we all agree that this theory is the theory of everything, Professor Asholonu tells us that it might just be the ultimate solution to all of humanity's problems. Now, to know more about this reality, about this Taurus, about this Ibuku hexagonal grid, go by the books. Okay? Now, like and subscribe. Thank you for listening. Ciao.